lawyer, so you do not ever want to be in the position where you're providing legal advice on the creation or modification of wills or powers of attorney, and you don't want to be um, accepting appointments as executors, trustees, or attorneys. However, it is perfectly appropriate to say to someone, do you have a will? When is the last time you looked at it to, to make sure that it fits, continues to fit your needs and circumstances? It is perfectly appropriate to ask, do you have a continuing power of attorney for property? When's the last time you, you looked at it? Are the people you've appointed the, the right people and people who might would actually be able to help you? And, and it is even proper to ask, who are the attorneys for property? And then to explain to the customer or client how that can helpfully be matched uh, with the appointment of a trusted contact person who does something different. Call this the last question. So, what are the risks when you? Okay. So now I'm being asked about about the risk of, of doing uh, business on your computer. But you, you, now you're taking me way outside my, my wheelhouse. I, I'm sorry. But the only thing I can say is that as I was. At researching and preparing to give this talk, I found a wealth of, of useful resources, and I've given you a, a whole bunch of, of links here, and, and some of the links actually have material that directly addresses that question, uh, especially the BC Centre for Elder Advocacy uh, and Consumers Reports and the OSC Senior Strategy, and in an earlier slide, I gave you a link uh, to another website maintained by the OSC that's aimed at the broad public and offers, among other things, advice about protecting yourself online. Um, as, as always, uh, when I present on a topic, I get as much back uh, as, as I gave. Uh, I've learned a few things. I hope that you found it helpful. As always, it, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And thank you.